Hi, welcome to the new ground fonts feature of uh, Weddowmaker. Uh, I was exactly this airport here I was looking at closely and thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to trace these with polygons, there's no numbering on grass runways, and I can't even read those words there. I could in uh, Google Earth, so I know what they say. So here we go, I'll move over to Weddowmaker and zoom in on that same area of the airport. Now I've got the font window open on the side and so I'll just put the 07 in the middle of the screen. I'll move to the runway font and you can see the glyphs available to me on the left there. It's just basically numbers and 07. I'll insert that into WED and I'll show you the, uh, the workflow you might want to use here which is just move to each different area you want to insert uh, lettering and numbers and um, I've moved, changed the pavement font, you can see I've got the full alphabet here so let's put runway ahead purposely spelt like that and insert that into Word into the position that we're looking at and I'll just uh, just for the, oh yeah there's the alert box telling me it's finished that font sorry that insertion I'll just move over to these two as well also grass fonts and I'll just pop there, runway 25, and I'll insert that and accept the good advice, move to 31, insert into WED. Okay, now I'll uh, move back to WED and show you the next steps. Of course, the airport needs reloading in WED. I'll just do that. Okay, here we are. We can have, we can see we've got 07. And on the right here, if we just close up the groups, you can see the letters have been grouped into the words that we've put down on the, on the floor. I'll select using the group select on the right. I'll use the keyboard shortcut for zooming to select it. I'll go to the marquee tool and I will position I will hold ALT to rotate and I'll hold SHIFT command or SHIFT control I think for Windows which is scale without distortion and um, and keep it centered so I'll just line up the zero there and once I'm happy with the zero I'll just move the seven into position and drop down move to the next area so this one is an example of the other writing. There we have all the letters already formed and we'll just select both so that we can scale them at the same time and I'll just scale them down first of all to roughly the right size move them into rough position and let's have a better zoom there right I'll rotate them now so they are zoomed and rotated they should match up with each other let's just scale a bit more I'm just looking at the whole width of runway there and I'll put runway in place that's good enough and just deselect with the keyboard control D and move ahead into place as well uh, because this is a submission for the gateway that there's no sort of red paint polygon so that's the best we can do with that one for now. Okay, let's just apply the same principles for 25 and 31. Um, again, I'm just going to concentrate on the 5 and line that up with the 5 on the floor and then adjust the 2 to uh, match as it needs. So this is uh, designed uh, with the, the gateway in mind. We've got only a couple of polygons really when we use the default laminar library which is uh, concrete and asphalt and that gives us a light colour and a dark colour a sort of white paint and, paint and black paint we don't have options for red and yellow um, and in fact the, the, the whole uh, use of polygons is, is really just a stopgap until we have a, a full uh, bitmap system but um, I believe we should just get the airports as good as we can and then when a bitmap system comes to WED in the future then we can go back and improve the airports. Um, 
uh, that's it for now. If you are designing for non-gateway submissions, obviously you'll have a whole load of other polygons you can probably choose from. But um, hopefully this will help improve the uh, gateway submissions and improve your workflow.